Hey you two! We're at Fan Expo Vancouver 2019. Let's get our geek on. This is Vancouver Talks. first time here? At Fan Expo? No, this is like, I mean, I've gone to it a few years, but I was like my second Fan Expo cosplaying, I guess. Third or fourth? That's my second time here. Like many, many years here. Been here since... Beginning of it? Uh, God, no. I want to say like at least six years. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I've been to every Fan Expo oh. since they came out here. Two OG. Yeah, man. Original gangster. Uh, yeah, this is our first time in Fan Expo. We, we like to hang out at various events around the, the city. What other ones have you been to? This costume is actually for Dota 2. Yeah. There was a competition in the summer, and oh. so we participated in that. But the ogres get antsy, and they really want to be taken out, so <laughs> we take them out every so often just to, you know, have a stroll. In your opinion, out of all the fandoms, which one is the best one, or which one's your favorite one? Started with Star Wars. I like Star Wars. That's what got me started. So. I'm a Star Wars fan too, as well. Getting into Gears of War, coming Gears back, making a revival. So I'm personally in the Potterheads. Okay. So I would say the Harry Potter fandom. Oh, it's big. Yeah, yeah, but I do love the Game of Thrones fandom. Oh. Because the costumes that come out of there are amazing. You saw the Game of Thrones throne, right? Oh yeah, yeah. it's so cool. Yeah. I'm always a comics guy. Like I love Batman. I love Spawn. Oh. So DC, you're a DC kind of. Well, here's the thing. Like I. I love MCU, but comics-wise, like DC just has really good writing. Because as long as they have Snyder and uh, I don't know where Morrison is right now. I think he keeps kind of going back and forth. But I think DC's writing is like dark. Yeah, like it just the undertone is like because they don't have a big company telling them what to do. It's just them. Yeah. Like that WB, but WB. I don't think WB like controls. No, them. I don't think. Yeah, they're. I'm pretty sure like Marvel gets controlled a lot on the screen thing. Yeah, yeah probably. Don't, don't quote us on it. We're yeah. Not, <laughs> no, we're not pro. It's all good products, though. Yeah. Everyone loves them. We love you, Marvel. Yeah, I love Carnage and Venom. It's, don't hate you know, it's my channel, good. please. Yeah. Like, don't hate us. We love it. Like, we, we love you we guys. We watch the movies. Oh, God, God damn it. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marvel. Marvel. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. There we go. Okay. Gonna go with Marvel. Marvel is like this escape goal. <laughs> well, I mean, look, you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marvel is like. That's true. That's true. You know. Stan Lee, Everybody Marvel knows characters. Marvel. Yeah. You can walk down any street and be like, do you know what Marvel is? And everybody's gonna know. Like, uh, who's Iron Man? Who's Spider- Everybody knows. I, yeah, I, I can agree with that. It's okay. Cool. It's worldwide known. Yeah. You go you go to Asia, there's Marvel. Yeah. You go to, yeah, you go anywhere, there's Marvel. Everybody okay. knows what it means. Well, we've only really experienced Dota, so we're just gonna have to say that that's the best Dota one. is pretty magical, but I've always been obsessed with Star Wars. Oh, yes, yes. So, oh my goodness, I'm, I am love the world that they built, like all the oh, yeah. Clone Wars and everything, so I'd love to do a Star Wars. We did a giant Bantha once, and we dressed up a statue, but this, we just really fell in love with Dota because it's just so magical. I love everything that you owned, like geek-wise, nerd-wise, mm-hmm. or anything that you've done what's the most geekiest nerdiest thing you own or the most geekiest nerdiest thing that you've done as my final project in university i built a shield that i'd hand painted the mandalorian symbol on it which is (laughs) both of a pet symbol from star wars and my teacher had no idea what it was She kind of looked at it and all my classmates were like, what the hell are you doing, child? What was this class for? Textile arts. Oh, Oh, wow, okay. So I made a shield and painted it. You still have it? Oh yeah, it's actually, it sits on my mantelpiece. Oh, nice. It sits right beside my Captain America shield. (laughs) You know. It's the shield wall. I guess the other thing I could think of is I have an entire closet dedicated just to props. An entire closet full of weaponry that I've built over the years. <laughs> I can imagine if someone walked into your house. Like, they question they didn't know a lot you. of things. Yeah, yeah. They don't know you and they're like, <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. People question our house when they walk in because there's video game consoles everywhere and pop figures everywhere and just n- nerdy, Whatever, nerdy cool. gizmos everywhere. What console? I live with four other gamers, so we've got PS4, PS3, um, we got probably every PlayStation Position. system, we've got all the Xboxes, we've got a Dreamcast, we've Jeez. got, yeah, you name it, we've probably got console it. Console party at her place, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, console party all the time. Wow. We play four-person Overwatch, like, together. Oh. <laughs> religiously, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to play religiously when, like, the game was still super popular. <laughs> it's still pretty decent. It's, yeah, I'd still play it. 
It's the dance phenomenon. It went, it went crazy with that. So. Yeah. Nerdiest geeky thing I've ever Look, done. Look, Spider Man is pretty like. It's okay, there. yeah. Like it's I'm, I'm like. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, like, there's no room for imagination. Like I was not know. built for this. No, no. But is all like, I'm saying. I tried it. to work out a little bit, but yeah. like. Yeah, but that confidence is. I just, got it. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's yeah. go. And just stretch. Fight crime, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Diva gets it. I don't know who that is, but yeah. <laughs> Diva knows. <laughs> it's a really hard question to answer. Like, I've done some stupid stuff. <laughs> uh, for, the, for the name of comics and the geek. I'd say cosplay is like the nerdiest thing, but like everybody does it now. Yeah, like, so it's, it's like, like it's, a common thing. Could be before. Before it was like mainstream. To be fair, I just heard somebody walking up the escalator like, oh, I could never cosplay. That's too nerdy for me. And I was like, why are you here? <laughs> You can't say that and then be here. That's you're ruining the whole point. Eh, I don't know. Yeah. I used to be in some weird stuff. Like, just give us one. Just give us like a cookie. Okay. So back in the day, when you first get into anime, the very first thing everybody goes with is like Bleach and Naruto and yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely was one of those kids that bought the Naruto headband and then wore it to school. Okay. Okay. So that's the thing. That, that was. That was actually cool. So whatever, whatever. I don't care. I don't know I if it done was that. cool. I would have done that. No, no I wouldn't I, say it's no. cool. No, I, but... I would have done that. I would have done that. You're definitely not gonna be like a fan of the girls. No, yeah, I didn't. No. Let's be honest. I didn't have a girlfriend for a while. Okay, yeah, let's be like... honest there. But <laughs> you're still cool. You know, you have the guts to do that. Well, actually, I have a better one. Before I bought one, I made one. Was it good? No, it was freaking <laughs> terrible, man. Was it recognizable? Oh yeah, you could totally tell. <laughs> but it was just like it was like artistic level zero. <laughs> yeah, I was like in grades. I didn't know what I was doing, and I had like a pillowcase that I cut and then like folded the end over. Yeah, yeah, it was a blue pillowcase, so it worked for the color. Oh. Okay. So it was like okay. so I cut a strip out of it, and then I took a pop can and I cut the shape out, right? And then I just like out of a pop can. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you didn't cut your fingers. No, no, no. That's pretty. That's that's. that's pretty I mean, good. maybe I did, but it's been a long time, so I don't remember. Like but cutting I don't pop think can. So. I just think about it's that. dangerous. It's dangerous. It's, don't do it. At, yeah. Don't don't do that. No, <laughs> it's not okay. Do not do this at home, kids. <laughs> yeah, I cut it out. I think I took um like thumbtacks, but the flat ones into the into fabric. The, into the yeah, into the pop can, and then the fabric, and then I took like button ends and I stuck them like the pins, you know. Obviously, to make sure you don't get poked. so I don't get poked. Yeah, yeah. And I made it, Dude, and it was you, terrible. You gotta have a picture of that. It looked nope. Don't. Never. I really hope I don't on the internet somewhere. I might. <laughs> Dude, that was so famous. That was so famous. It was I, bad. I could see a meme from that. It was, I think I drew the little, um, <laughs> the little thing, the, the swirl. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's called. Was even the, called? The, for, the hidden village, forest village. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I drew the little symbol on it <laughs> in a Sharpie. It was bad. I made Batman. I know I, I did a really shitty Batman cape. I cut paper and I colored it in and I just taped it on my chest. I like it. I like it. Right? That's and hilarious. I just jumped off things, right? <laughs> I just jumped off things. It's what yeah. Batman would do. Batman yeah, would do, right? You know. I get it. I'm not a millionaire or billionaire or however m how much money is. air. There, there's actually a website to actually show how much she's how much how rich she is. Really? According to like um, dollars today, currency today. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the universes that has crossed over already, which two would you want to see cross over? Let your imagination go wild. Like Halo and Star Wars. Halo and Star Wars. Having those guys yeah. go head to head, that'd be pretty sweet. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. There's some sick fight scenes in there for <laughs> sure. Yeah, absolutely. Same? Yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's a good one. I would love Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. and Dota. <laughs> Can you imagine the, the little like, rocket guy? Oh my goodness, that'd be so awesome. That'd be cool. Actually. Yeah. This should make a game. Oh. Full game, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. We're in it. Yes. We're done. Yeah. DC Marvel's been done. Two universes to collide. Wow. Let your imagination run. Oh boy. Let's Let your say... imagination run. It's tough. That's a tough it's one. Tough. I'm not even a big fan of Star Wars Universe, but Marvel Universe and Star Wars Universe. Just to see what will happen. Yeah. Just to yeah. see what just to see what happened. I mean, they can. That's the thing, because they can as well. I don't like what Star Wars is becoming lately, but I think that's kind of yeah, goes I've, without saying. I've heard some not yeah. so good reviews. Well, you know, it's honestly for me, it's like as long as it's entertaining and people love it, I don't have to like it. I don't care if like, I like I, it or not. I would like to see Darth Vader yeah. walk into a Marvel universe yeah. set. Like, like what would he do with be, Thanos? Yeah, be, I mean, yeah. Thanos, I think, would kill him. Like, well, yeah. Yeah, 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 pretty yeah. literally. Give him a little bit of a fight. You know, yeah. Darth Vader's got some power, right? He's yeah. Got a little fight, right? I don't know. I love Metal Gear. I love Spawn. Like Spawn. What would you mix Spawn with? Spawn's too Batman-ish. So I'm not gonna mix that. Yeah. Way. 
Spawn's kind of, and you know, Frank Miller's done a Batman Spawn comic with uh, McFarlane. Yeah. And yeah, what would you? Spawn's kind of his own like thing too. There's a lot of people they just fit in their own world. They make those world. comics for that those people, right? That fit that world, right? Oh, yeah. I, I I watched Spawn. I watched the movie when it came out. You're big, excited about big, the new yeah. one? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, Blumhouse yes, is making yes, it. Yes, yes, Isn't yes, Blumhouse? Yes. Do they have a studio in Vancouver? I think they do. Yeah. I think they started making it. Yeah. We're, we're not experts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm assuming they do. I mean, most people do because it's like... You know, in Vancouver, we just expect everyone to have a studio yeah. in Vancouver. We're that right? narcissistic, yeah. 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 We're like the other Hollywood. Yeah. We're the cheap Hollywood. Yeah, we're so the cheap Hollywood. That means there's more movies filmed here because it's cheaper. Yeah. None of the movies that I film here have Vancouver in the background. It's always yeah. something else. <laughs> yeah. Always a different city. I'm going to sound so basic because the first thing that came to mind was One Punch Man and Dragon Ball Z. Because, like, I'm super curious to see what would happen. I feel that. I like that. Yes, yes, I agree with that. Because One Punch Man is, like... His fist is invincible. Exactly. There's nothing that's giving him any strain on his fist. Mm -hmm. But what would happen if he was against a Super Saiyan? Or like Ultra Instinct from like. The, oh yeah, the we're Ultra one. Instinct. Like that would be interesting. Do that, please do that. Yeah, someone please do that. Please do that. I know like a fan <laughs> video. I'll be, be pretty. That'll be pretty interesting. Yeah. And it could be anyone. It could be some absurd, oh, like some uh, messed up dream. Maybe like you're high on weed and they decided to cross them over. That's just like, <laughs> where do, how do you, <laughs> what do you? Like, you Adam, <laughs> that question, right? Like, oh. Man, be, I'm just going to go like left field, okay? okay, okay I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go like the Doctor Who universe, okay? Okay. Doctor Who universe and Dragon Ball Z. Whoa. Just like. <laughs> that was left field. Right? That was like, so left field. <laughs> it doesn't even, I don't know. It doesn't compute. I, I don't know. <laughs> I want to know what would happen. I don't even know how they would make that. Like, you can't make that work. <laughs> like, yeah. Like it. Oh, I don't know. Geez. Okay, that, that was because the doctor wouldn't know what to do at that. And no one expected that answer. No one. Spider Man, man, he knows what's up. No one. No one I'm expected saying. that answer. How long did it take you to make this one? About three months. Wow. The, the two, two of us. Of us. Two of yeah, us. it took a little bit of time. Was it made of mainly? Uh, mostly yeah, yoga mats, uh, you know, the... Yoga gold. mats? Legit? Yeah. yeah. Like, when in Vancouver, make these little yoga mats. That's pretty standard how a lot of cosplayers make their costumes because it's this kind of foam is flexible, it's paintable, it's oh. pretty light, and it's waterproof. So we used to do stuff out of chicken wire and paper mache and not waterproof. Yeah. <laughs> but doesn't it get expensive because it's yoga mats? Uh, no, it's no. not too bad. It's about $30 for a big roll of it if you find it on sale. Have you guys done individual cosplays? No. It's always been... Always four-legged cosplay. We always do two-man costumes. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Our big thing is we love going to polar bear swims. Yeah. And we do two-man polar bear costumes. What? So then we run in the water and you can't tell there's two of us in there. And you can't see our le extra legs. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Thanks for watching. Show like, subscribe. We had some fun today. If you want some more fun, check out our other videos. M-Square out.